This is a quick little tutorial on workflow and understanding your Accelerate Ed class setup. So I know some of you are able to log into Genius like you see here and you see your course list. And some of you are doing, going directly through Accelerate Ed temporarily until Genius is up and running for you. So uh, wh whichever way you log in, go ahead and log in. Here we're logged into Genius and I see my course lists and I'm going to click on one of my Accelerate Ed courses. No matter which course I click on, what I want you to notice when we're Accelerate Ed is that you see a list of course tiles of all your courses. You'll notice that there's a to-do list in the upper left corner here. There's an activity stream. Don't pay any attention to those. Go straight to the course list itself. And there might be some announcements that might be up here that your teachers are giving you. Uh, so pay attention to this section right here of the date and what announcements you might have. But after you do that, uh, you'll notice that there'll be announcements directly in your classes. So we're going to scroll down through all of our classes and we're looking to get back into our language arts third grade class. And so I'm going to click on my language arts class. And what I want you to notice here is at the very top, we have our name, we have our activities and we have a to-do list. Don't worry too much about that to-do list. Don't get caught up in there. What is this first part here is showing me activities that need to be completed and where I have been working last. Notice that I also have a progress area in this right-hand side over here of how much I've actually worked through the course so far. So in the very beginning, to be able to get started in any one of these courses, notice that I have a whole bunch of folders here. They're called modules, and modules are just a series of lessons that you're going to work through. Before you do anything, the very first thing you want to do with your learning coach, the parent or guardian, whomever is helping you and supporting you through this course, you want to go to your resources section. When you click on the resources section, you'll notice that there's multiple uh, information files here for you. Uh, one for the learning coaches of whoever your parent guardian is that's helping you in your kindergarten through fifth grade classes, particularly, and what they would need to do. Materials that are needed for the course, getting started, some audio practice, some about me. So there's multiple things, and you want to work through each one of these independently. Um, all you do is touch and click on one of them because, of course, we're looking at accessing Accelerate Ed here through an iPad lens, for those of you that are on iPads. And you'll notice that it opens up a lesson, all right? And the lesson has videos in it, so you wanna read the text, play the video directly inside the lesson to watch that lesson. If you wanna make it bigger, you have this online right in class. corner to make it bigger if you wanna do that. Pause, start, stop is all through your pause button. After you've watched the entire video, you want to click on this yellow button right here to click on Next. When you click Next, here's some text. And again, this is what you're doing with your learning coach, right? So your parent or guardian, those who's helping you to be able to look through how many minutes daily are recommended for some of the courses that you might be in. And again, when you're ready to, to continue, you hit the Next button. When you hit the next button, again, more text and video, play the video inside. And this is like going by, going through lesson by lesson by lesson with just this one particular topic. You'll notice that there's this little crosshairs button right here. And this crosshairs button, when you click on the arrow and open it up, you'll notice that there is a play function. Workspace. Which How do you set up a proper workspace for your student at so that will read through the text directly on the screen for you if you need that. There's also some thesaurus look up here. There's also this one little button here that looks like a half eyeball and notice what the half eyeball does. So the half eyeball grays out everything for you just so you can focus directly on what you're looking at next as you're reading through things. So you can use that crosshairs or not. It's entirely up to you and you can click on that, move that anywhere you want. And again, I can click on this button, this next arrow, to keep working through this resource, learning about the learning coaches. Once I'm finished with this one, to get back to my folders, 
There's a couple different ways, but the easiest way is in the upper left-hand corner. See this little arrow here that's showing up right here? What we do is click on that arrow and that'll take us right back to the actual lessons and the modules. The next one, notice that I can click directly on the next item in the list and that goes through materials needed. And if I click on the back arrow, I can go back through the other folders that are here. There's a getting started folder as well that I would be able to click on and go through information. I highly recommend that you go through each one of these slowly so that you can really pay attention to what's going on in the course. This is giving you your introductions to everything you need in the course. You'll notice there's also a transcript for videos. So there's if you want to read the words as the video plays them, you can read the words by accessing that transcript. So clicking on the next arrows, and notice I'm on page one of eight. Now I'm two of eight, and then I can keep going through those pages. In the upper left-hand corner, I'm going to click on the arrow again, the back arrow to get back to my modules. Now notice here that some of these folders now have green checks on them. A green check means that I viewed entirely the whole way through the resource. So if I look at my resources right now, I have a green check on my resources. I've completed that folder. So the next time I go in, I can go to the next folder here. Here's module one. If I click on module one, I can see that I don't have a full green arrow on module one right now because I still have these bottom two modules, independent reading, my adventures, and my adventures spelling test that I have not yet completed. But it tells me what I've completed so far. So the checks are telling me what's completed, right? So I know what I can do next by clicking on module one, independent reading materials to be able to go and find things. Now, this next one has a worksheet in it where you're gonna actually add to the worksheet. You're gonna click on that link to open up the worksheet. You're gonna mark it up and then you're gonna save it to your iPad and you're gonna resubmit it. So there is a special video in this video series that shows you how to download worksheets, mark them up on the iPad, save them to your iPad, and then resubmit them, or submit them rather, to the teacher. So check out that video if you need information on how to do that. I'm going to go back to this left arrow to get back to my actual course. And I want you to also notice in this blue banner at the very top here, notice the little airplane in the upper right hand corner, it looks like a paper airplane. When you click on that paper airplane, this is how you can send mail to your teachers. So you wanna email them if you have a question, if you need some help on something, you can type the subject in and then just type right in here as the message. And type whatever you need to them there. And when you click on send, just show you as an example here, I, you have to put a subject in, you have to put a message. And then you see the bottom right corner, cancel and send. The moment that you click on the send button, your teacher will get that message directly from you. So it's important to recognize that that's the way you can communicate with your teachers. When you're finished with this, notice it's just a tab that's open. So it saves the work that you've been in so far. And you can just go up here to the tab and you can click on that little X to close it. And you are back now to genius to where you started.